Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. Glad to see you all out here today. We have a gorgeous 23 overcast day, 23 degrees. Today we have 10 millimeters for you. We have two boxes of underwood. We're going to shoot over the chronograph. We have 155 grain XTP. It's supposed to be going 1500 feet per second according to the box. And then we have the 1600, or excuse me, the 1400 feet per second, 165 grain bonded jacketed hollow point. Now when you look at it, it looks a lot like a spear gold dot to me. So we're just going to see what these do out of the different weapons here we have a glock model 40 a glock model 20 borrowed from chook so make sure you check out chook's outdoor adventures and the glock 29 40 20 29 long barrel medium barrel short barrel 10 millimeter okay here we go first glock 29 and i'm shooting the 155 grain hornady xtp Got three rounds in each mag. Here we go. Right over the chronograph. We're a little closer because this Caldwell precision has been a little bit funky if you're not right over the top of it. So we're a little closer than normal today. It is about 23 degrees. We're at about 800 feet of elevation. Fourteen thirty-three. Fourteen twenty-four. Fourteen twenty-five. Pretty consistent out of the short barrel. Not bad. Now let's go with Chook's Glock 20 here. Hopefully his TLR1 here doesn't fall off like it did the last time we were in this exact same spot. 1521. 1574. It's somehow locked open though. That's weird. 1474. 1514. That's weird. Sometimes really hot 10 millimeter loads take different springs and stuff. Here we go, Glock Model 40. 1597. 1627. 1608. With a 155 grain bullet, that's a lot of energy right there. So that's the 155 grains, three different guns and 10 millimeter. Let's switch to the 165 grains now. Here we go, Glock 29, uh, 165 grain, bonded, jacketed hollow point, probably a spear gold dot. Glock 29, here we go, 10 millimeter. 1269, 1292, and 1288. Three rounds out of that one. Here we go. Glock 20, 10 millimeter, 1366, 1377, and 1368. Not bad. Here we go. Glock model 40, 10 millimeter, 1437, 1470, and 1457. So, a little bit more than the box. That's pretty good for the Glock model 40. Okay, check out the Adam slide, then check out the penetration test. It's different this time. The Underwood 10 millimeter compared in the jacketed hollow points that they do. We had the 155 grain XTP first out of the Glock 29. We got an average muzzle velocity of 1427 feet per second with a standard deviation of 4.9. Foot pounds of energy was 701. Glock 20 155 grain. We've got an average feet per second of 1503, standard deviation of 25.35, there's a lot more discrepancy between those, and we got 777 foot pounds of energy. Out of the Glock Model 40, we got an average feet per second of 1610, it's the most powerful load I've shot through there so far, standard deviation of 15.17, and the foot pounds of energy is 893. Their 165 grain bonded jacket of hollow point, wink wink spear gold dot. Out of the Glock 29, we got an average feet per second of 1283. Standard deviation of 12.2282. And the foot pounds of energy is 603.244. The Glock 20, 165 grain, average feet per second, 1370.333. Standard deviation. 5.8594 was pretty consistent and the foot pounds of energy was 688.164 and the Glock model 40 165 grain 
average feet per second was 1454.66, so it exceeded the box. 16.62 on the standard deviation, and 775 foot pounds of energy, which is still pretty awesome. We're at about 800 feet of elevation, and the temperature was about 23 degrees Fahrenheit at the time of this shooting. This week's shout out goes to the reloading press. He has a link in the description. Go check him out, y'all. Okay, here we go. Glock 29, 155 grain. I have a box full of Cabela's sales flyers that are old. And the reason why I'm doing this is because there were no water bottles left after the earthquake. I couldn't buy, I could buy some soda bottles here and there, but you know, this is a good, nice medium. We can get all six rounds in one box here. All right, Glock 29, 155 grain. All right. Lots of power to move that box around. Looks like we hit it right where I was aiming, which is just below the tape, and it didn't come out the back as expected. Here we go. Clock 20. 155 grain. Well, that time it might have gone out the back. It sure did. That bullet, bullet tore through and came out the back. Busted a lot. Wow, I didn't expect that. Did not expect that. We're probably not gonna find that bullet for sure. Well, if it did it with the Glock 20, it should really do it with the Glock 40 unless that causes it to expand more. Here we go. I don't think it did that time. Let's see. Let's see. Might have been weird. Might have been a hit a weird spot in the box. Yep, right below it. Didn't come out the back. That's weird. Might get the most penetration from a Model 20 with that ammo. It's not bear defense ammo, so not really worried about it. Okay. 165 grain ammo here. Let's see how that does in the bottom of the box. Again, right, left to right, we're going 29, 20, and 40. Here we go. Got a nice little spin on the box again. There we go, that one just moved back. So I can shoot it again. Is it still in focus? Sweet. Maybe I should shoot that 20 again. What do you think, the 155 to the 20 again? Let's do that. So I'm gonna aim right about in here for the Model 20. Actually, probably a little lower. Model 20 again. Okay, that time it didn't blow out the back, so let's see what we can find. Okay, everybody, so we had 155 grain with the 29, the 20, this one blew out the back. Then we had the 20 again after I did everyone else, and then we had the Model 40. And then we had the 165 grain down here, the what looked like spear gold dot. This is the 29, the 20, and the 40. I was aiming just a hair low to make sure I hit the, the papers on these, uh, and then just a hair low to make sure that I didn't interfere with these tracks in case they deviated some in there. We did have the first Model 20 go out the back. So I don't know if it got clogged and just didn't work, uh, but you can see there's little paper confetti all over the ground here from that. This was nice, perfect snow before we did that. So, just to show you there, let's open this bad boy up and see if we can find these.
over here we have our model 40s 155 grain XTP XTP stay together a lot better and I'm pretty sure these are you know spear gold dots 165 grain and here we go we got the uh, 155 grain out of the 20 and the 165 grain out of the 20 and we got the 155 grain out of the 29 and the 165 grain out of the 29 so we we're able to recover all three bullets from each type of ammo and that's what it does in just newspapers and hopefully we'll do some more testing with it later but you got to see the difference in the chronograph that was a big difference in both cases the model 40 penetrated deeper than both the 20 and the 29 the XTP did a little better in the 20 than it did the 29 these two were right about the same as far as 20 and 29 which makes sense this is going fast enough to break apart and this one's still just mangled um, so it didn't really break apart so Alaskan Ballistics, subscribe, visit us on Patreon, and make sure that you check out all the small gun channels and give them some likes. God bless, take care, see you at the range.